Hello everyone, this is Kathleen and I'm happy to be here again today. I wanted to show you how to make this cute, I, it's another peekaboo page element. Um, yeah, this is a pocket though. Um, I have two or three other peekaboo uh, tucks on in, in a playlist. Um, and I'll, in the list, you know, if you scroll down. Um, but this one is a pocket, and the reason is because it's glued on three sides. That's what makes it a pocket. Um, so it's glued here and here, and then down this side, and and then um, it slides, the, you know, the ephemera slides behind it, um, and then it peeks out right here. So I, I really, really like making elements like this. And so I just thought I would, would show you. Um, this one, and isn't this pretty paper? Oh my gosh, I found, I found this, um, this really fabulous Japanese handmade paper. It was in a handmade folio, but it, I found it at a, it was like an artist's thrift sale. Um, and it was water stained. And of course that just makes it fabulous for me. So I was really, really pretty thrilled to find that. So this has that pretty paper included um, behind behind these pictures. And also, oh, this is, this is just uh, a paint chip and I've sanded the back so that it can be journal on. And um, I've left this front part plain um, I chose pink. Uh, this is the Pastora journal, and um, it matches these little dots on this paper. So, yeah, that's that's what that is. And this is some of my treasured antique lace. And there's just a little a little lace tab there. Um, I have included one of those new butterfly stickers that I got in that your creative studio box um and it, it is it's working just the way i was hoping darling little um pictures for small collages so yeah that's great and then this is just a picture out of a rose book gardening book that i have and i have sanded it to take the glossy uh glossiness off of the picture and kind of put just a little bit of a frosted look around the edge and um punched it so that's this is going to be a peekaboo pocket uh, number one so yeah look for that in the playlist so let me show you how I so this is this is the Pastora journal it has it's taken me a little longer because it's got four signatures the other one has three so, but this one has four, and so there's more, more elements I need to create. But let me show you how to do this. I'll do it for the other book, which is um, the bird song. And I'm going to do it on this page. So let me get a clip and keep that kind of. So all you need is some washi tape or a strip, a little strip of paper. Um, it's just made with essentially two, two pieces. It can be a paper sack. It can be another, um, another card, like an image card, but you need two pieces that, that will overlap. So I'm just going to use this, this scrap and I am going to round the corners. I want bigger than that. So I'm going to round three corners and then I'm going to do that same punch like I did on the other one, which is just a corner punch, just gets that little bit of a, a decorative look. And then I'm going to do some distressing because that's what I like. sun is shining today. I'm so pleased that it seems a little warmer. G 
January is usually our coldest time and um, but it was postponed I guess till February this year the other day it was 15 below zero here which is that's just oh, too cold too too cold so I'm using this glassine bag that I have already um, I've already smushed it with some distress ink to dye it a little bit so I just want to kind of get some grunge on it and then I'm going to take this uh, the, my, one of my favorite stencils and just put some stenciling on there Let's see if I can find the right green I like forest moss I should have gotten it out I guess we'll use peeled paint pink so I'm just going to add this um, let me see how I want to do it. I think we'll put it this way. And hmm. Alrighty, there's that. Done. And then I, so the way this works is one goes behind and then the other one overlaps like that. And, and then of course the top one needs to be decorated. Um, so I'm just going to create another little collage so I have couple pieces here that I found um, this was this little piece was in that packet of things that I found in that um, bundle so I'm gonna use that let me take it off the page so that I can see it as a discrete design so I'm put this down Oh, I was going to put washi tape down first. All right, I'm going to pull that back a little bit and do the washi tape first. If I can find the end, there it is. Put some glue on that so that it will stick down really well. Oh dear, let me get this straight. So line it up. Okay, so I can tuck this behind a little. I would rather do that than I can with washi tape because um, I think it the edge looks better and I, I feel like it's not going to peel up quite as much. I need to stick that back down, but it needs more glue again. Okay, very good. Now, let me make the collage so I have some book page and I have another one of those little stickers um, and then I have this little piece of a ticket I don't know if I want that on the top or on the bottom I'm 
and pink and bottom. Okay, so that's about halfway down the tape. Do you ever do collage and then forget where you were putting that piece? I, I do that. So I end up with an idea when I start and then that it just takes on a life of its own. Yeah. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, and I've got that corner bent under. There we go. Okay, I'm not going to put that all the way down on the bottom because I think I want to stick this underneath it. So I like to put uh, Distress on the edges because what that does is it helps kind of um, make a, a contrasting line. It defines the edge underneath. Um, yeah, the paper. Okay, I want that. I want it on top. Maybe I want it on top. I guess. Okay, we'll put it on top. All right, I like that. That's that's kind of pretty. So now we just have to. Um, glue it all down so oh and here's the little here's the little tab we'll see where we want to put that so I think I want it again the back on this side we could do it this way but I think I would rather not have that against there so I think we'll just do it like the other one so I am, I'm going to glue just this side down. So this is just, you know, up and and the way it's held down is obviously just this on top of it. Okay. So that's that's good. Now, where did the there it is. The little tab go. So, we can put it up here like the other one was. Or we could put it down. Mm. No, I think I'll put it up. We could put it on this side, maybe. That might be cute. Can't see it as well though, so I think we're gonna put it on this side. So I'm gonna glue it to this edge. Sorry, I forget that I have to be in frame when I do these things. Okay, so we'll glue that down first. And then, now there's a couple of things. Um, you can make it, um, where's the where's some paper? So we can make it so that there's one tuck. And then this is a, a second tuck. And you can also leave this open if you want and make like a third, a third tuck. But um, I think I'm just gonna make a double pocket on this. 
and have it be, you know, this back one and then this little one because I have put this tab on there and I, I don't, I mean, it would be okay. It would be okay. But I think this, the book is already, it already has some nice, um, embellishments in it. So I think it's, it's embellished well enough. So just to make this a little more sturdy, I'm going to put some glue behind here too, so that this gets, you know, stuck right in here. So we'll just put a little bit of glue there and then down this edge and across the bottom. down so I'll just let that stick for a minute rub up that glue that's oozed out make sure that's straight yes it is okay so oh, then we have this another sheet of that pretty paper that, that slides in and peeks out here. So I need to trim that off a little, which I will do, and then I need to make a little tag to go in there. But um that's that's going to be peekaboo pocket number one. Let me show you the other one as well. There's that one. And then where was it in here? Here's this one. All right. So thanks for being with me. I hope that's helpful and something that you might want to do for your journals.